collection. This is the Arduino buzzer beater. So what we did here was we have the LEDs corresponding to the different sensors right in front of each other. And uh, that is the sound it makes when the game ends. And to reset the game, you press this button. And it starts out with three beeps and then one long beep. And you have 30 seconds to break as many beams as you can. However, you can only break the beam in which the LED is lighting up in front of it. So if you break a different beam or the wrong beam, then you'll get subtracted one point. But if you break the correct beam, then you'll get added one point to your score. And at the end of 30 seconds, which is the game time limit, it will uh, make one long beep, as happened earlier in the video. And it will tell you your score on the LCD screen. Okay. Tim, would you explain the random nature of it? Well, in our first version of the code, we used the Arduino random function, but we realized after a few games that every single game, the LEDs were moving in the same pattern. It would go this one, then this one, then that one, then that one, then that one, then this one, then this one, then this one. It was not random. It repeated. So we realized we read the Arduino documentation on randomness and figured out that we had to use the random seed function. and random seed is reading off an analog in pin that's high impedance so it's floating around so it's giving us random numbers uh, we have a uh, semester exam part two today right. and so we have